Hello crafty friends, this is Diane. I have a question for you. Who likes chocolate? I like chocolate. And as I shop at thrift stores and flea markets, I have found chocolate books, cookbooks. And I've made a couple um, chocolate cookbooks or chocolate journals. I kept one for myself. Um, and I'm actually writing in it now. But I have, I thought I was done with chocolate journals, but I found some more wonderful, wonderful books. So I made some more. I made these two journals and I'll be working on some smash books. So I want to show you these journals. I love these journals. I love the way they turned out. I'm going to start with the Hershey's one. I tied it with this piece of vintage fabric strip with the turquoise flowers. It came on a roll just like this. It was a big roll um, and it's vintage and I got it at a flea market. Um, yeah. So, or maybe a yard sale from a crafter. Uh, but anyway, it is vintage. And I just thought it is so pretty and it matches the blue of the fabric I put on the spine. And I love this blue fabric because it just really brightens the book. The blue in her little dress is very subtle, but this just brightens it right up, and I really love the way that looks. And this is a vintage rickrack in a darker shade. I put some trim down the center of the spine, and I left this sticker on the back because it's Hershey's Chocolate World. So that actually came from Hershey, Pennsylvania. It was a dollar fifty, and this was a 1970s edition of this book. Love this image. I put the teal or turquoise colored paper on the inside and a book plate for you. This is from Paper Studios Mix Measure and Stir Paper. There's a few of those papers in here. There's some trim on the edge. I used brown, chocolate brown thread throughout. I used some of my chocolate stamps. This one says to-do list. Eat chocolate, do laundry, clean kitchen. Eat chocolate is checked off and it says at least you'll get one thing done today. Here's a pretty embossed oval shaped doily from Denise's shop, um, A Tattered Dream. I cut this image out of one of the chocolate cookbooks. Um, I'm making a smash book out of these larger books, so I used a lot of images from these books, and I also had some smaller cookbooks that I got images out of, but I love this as a tuck spot. Somebody's calling me. Let me see. That can go to voicemail. Um, and this is a vintage handwritten recipe. It says 1978 um, for chocolate cake. And tiny, tiny writing right there. It says chocolate cake. But look at the pretty rose on that little paper that she used. And here's a little digital tag that I tucked in there. This is a piece of um, scrapbook paper, cardstock that looks like a pink ledger, which is really pretty. And this came out of a magazine, the word chocolate, written in chocolate. And this came out of one of my books. Actually, it's the journal that, the book I'm using as a journal right now, these images came out of. It's um, Dutch Cocoa. Here's a little bag. It has, I did put in a lot of images from Mrs. Cog's um, chocolate digital set. So that's in there. There's a little lace at the bottom and I made this tag and this was a um, craft with me video that I did. You should have seen that yesterday. And by the way, um, that was several days ago from this, from this point. I've had some quiet crafting days. I just needed to quietly craft without doing videos. So that's why I jumped from making a piece of ephemera to having completed journals. 
And then on the back is another Mrs. Cog's image as a tuck spot and a Mrs. Cog's image. And this, I believe, came from Nostalgia Graphic Land. I'm not exactly sure. I've had it for a while. I've got some pink paper that I probably got from Nine of Crones on Etsy. I just ordered some more from her because I need pink paper for my strawberry journals. It'll be coming up soon. And I just stamped at the top and bottom. Here's a page from one of the smaller books on chocolate. It's from the Baker's Chocolate Company. And I just put a little piece of lace here. And this is one of the pages from... This is another Baker's Chocolate book. Yeah, Baker's Unsweetened Chocolate Candies. I just folded it up so you've got a couple recipes there. And this image from Mrs. Cox, you can write on the back. This is uh, scrapbook paper, and I had all these words cut out from different cookbooks, and I wanted to use them, so I just glued on a piece of fabric. Um, I'm going to talk about the fabric more with the other cover, and just put a piece of the, the word on there. Inside the envelope is a Betty Crocker recipe card library card I pulled out all the chocolate recipes that were in this set. And this one looks so luscious. Favorite chocolate cakes. And there's an image, which is this image. So it came out of this book. On the back is the flap of the envelope and just some fabric. And this came from um, I can't remember. I always want to say Truly All Supplies, but that's the napkin place. This is the girl who does all the strips, the fabric strips. I got that from her. Love this image. Just a bunch of chocolates, and I cut around it and glued it on as a tuck spot and tucked another of the cards inside. So you have a recipe for chocolate mousse. There's some green co copy paper that I just copy dyed. There's a stamp that I have of a Hershey Kiss. And in the center is a page from one of the books. And this was just text. wasn't a complete recipe, so I just put this vintage address book page on it. The word chocolate and this little cutout from one of the books. And inside here is... I, yeah, it's a Baker's Chocolate Book page. Look at those luscious chocolates. This is just a piece of ledger, and there's a little cinnamon jar that I cut out from that book that I'm using. And here we have some chocolates, and it says I would give up chocolate, but I'm no quitter. I put a little bit of pom-pom trim at the bottom of this little pocket. It says sweets for the sweet up there, and you get another recipe card. This one is not the Betty Crocker. It's My Great Recipes, but it's ribbon fudge cake. That looks good. And another little image from one of the books. This is um, the other side of that bag, and I just put a recipe card on it and added some washi tape. I created a pocket with a piece of the cardstock scrapbook paper and an image from a book. It covers up some text. And this is from a little booklet made with Hershey's cocoa, family favorites, and it's got a recipe for cocoa cheese pie. And this is from one of the books and it's different kinds of sweetened chocolates. And I just backed it with some lined paper. This one says Chocolate Bavarian. Second signature. All you need in life is a friend who has chocolate. I'm that friend, it says. There's a pretty doily. This one, I uh, included some frosting recipes and a little image of a cake. Here's another bag. This one is coffee dyed. An image 
from Mrs. Coggs and this tag and then here's one of the tags that I made in that video. I love that lace. There's a little chocolate chip stamped on muslin. A couple of the little tags in there. There's a fussy cut from a digi kit from that if it's from Nostalgia Graphic Land, it's from that. A piece of pink eyelet cotton and a recipe book page with some more frosting and filling recipes. There's another envelope with another gorgeous chocolate cake. And inside, a recipe for Bavarian chocolate cake. I made a side tuck with this image from one of the books. Um, here's a page from the Baker's Chocolate Book and a recipe. No bake peanut oat cookies. There's a stamped row of chocolates. This is a Mrs. Cog's image. I just punched some holes in it and in the book page and then tied the satin or silk ribbon through it. Made a little pocket here with some more pom-poms and a couple of Mrs. Cog's images. And there's a stamp of a luscious cake. This is an image from my book Baker's Chocolate and it says chocolate souffle over here. There's lots of room for writing. The pockets, you can put your own favorite chocolate recipes or you know on the pages or just use it as a regular journal which is what I'm doing with mine. There's another recipe card that's attached to the edge of that bag. Here's another image cut from a book. I just cut it or glued it to some cardstock and another portion of the choc uh, Hershey's chocolate booklet, Chocolate Town Classics. Of course, Hershey's is Chocolate Town. Cinnamon brownie bars, chocolate fudge cake. That sounds good. I think I'm going to have to make a chocolate cake now that I've been working on these journals. Chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. That sounds good. So much chocolate, so little time. That's what I say about, I insert the word journals. So many journals to make. Um, this is a little order form. Please send me free of charge your generous sample package of Baker's Deluxe Dutch Process Cocoa. And there's the Baker's Lady right there. So that would be a fun little place to write a note. This is an image of the cocoa, uh, cocoa bean. And this image came from a very old scrapbook that I had purchased at a flea market. It was falling apart and it's kind of discolored from the glue. It had a couple layers, but it's all glued together and put on, um, I think I put it on some cardstock, but anyway, it's a little tuck spot. Emily's white cake with chocolate frosting. This is from Mrs. Coggs and another one of these tags. And by the way, I should tell you, if you didn't watch the video in the making of these tags, they all feature a portion of a vintage handwritten recipe, although they are copies. I made copies of my recipes and just put a little portion on these tags, added some lace and embellishments, and you can write a little bit on the back or use it as a bookmark, but you have three of them. This is from the one of the books about chocolate. It's just some advertisements. And then this is just a pretty tag that I put in there. Some more lace here and another image from the Baker's Chocolate Book. French chocolate. And this just talks about making frosting and stuff like that not actually a recipe. That looks like a luscious image. It looks like angel food cake with a tunnel of chocolate inside. And inside is the complete brochure. 
one of the Hershey uh, Chocolate Town brochures. Chocolate Town Classics, made with Hershey's Instant and Chocolate Flavored Syrup. There's a little house made out of chocolate. I put that on as a tuck spot. Here's a portion of another little pamphlet. Marble Angel Ring. That sounds like that. But they didn't come in the same thing. Um, chocolate Substitution to Melt Chocolate. Regal Chocolate Mousse. Just love that little house. And here's a chocolate bar stamped on there. There's a banner. It's the definition of delight. Friends are the chocolate chips of life. Some more pom-pom. Another little pocket and another page from a brochure. Chocolate chiffon pie. Black bottom pie. There's a picture of marshmallow fudge, but that's not the recipe. Chocolate layer cake are the words down here. And, uh, well, this isn't really a recipe, but it has a nice picture. Sweet coconut pie. Look at that. And there is a picture of a cookie jar full of chocolate chip cookies. And this is a printable. I believe this is from the old design shop. Not only a breakfast cocoa, but for luncheon, for dinner, and for parties, too. Runkle's Cocoa. This is just uh, an appointment book page from 1986. Glued to the back of this. This is scrapbook paper. I think someone gave that to me. But it was covered with... Um, the whole back of it was covered with advertisements for other kits you could buy. I didn't understand why, so I covered it. And on the back, I made this pocket with a Mrs. Cog's image and some scrapbook paper and cardstock. And it's a little booklet. It has some muslin, cardstock, a Mrs. Cog's image, and then a pocket on the inside. It has a vintage recipe card. Handwritten, it's chocolate cheesecake. And then this very vintage piece of paper from the Union Trust Company. It's like a check, a blank check, but it has a recipe for chocolate frosting and cake frosting. Huh. So this one is called Hershey's 1934 Cookbook. The next one will be very similar, and I love this yellow ribbon. This came in a Happy Mail. I really didn't want to use it, but it's perfect with this. I did want to use it, but I wanted to keep it, too. I still have a piece of it. So pretty. I've never seen a ribbon like that. It's vintage, you can tell. So this one has brown and yellows on the front, so I brightened it up with yellow, a pale yellow spine and some rickrack. And then this is the one that was hinged at the top. It flipped open. So I had, this was a raw edge. So I covered it with fabric. I put this, you can't really see it, but there's this, it's like this. Just a long piece wrapped over the edge. And then I added these little pieces just for some interest. There's a label. I should have moved it down further, but I forgot I was gonna be wrapping things over the top got the same stamped images in it and the same types of book pages. This is vintage tatting. The recipe in here is chocolate pound cake. Love that picture. This is vintage trim. 
hot chocolate. Here's an image of a bag of sugar. Chocolate eggnog, chocolate float, and hot chocolate made with Baker's unsweetened chocolate. That's a Mrs. Cog's image. I always love that image. Chocolate upside down cake. Love that vintage piece right there. This one has a, an old um, coupon. It expired in 1995 for chocolate chips, Nestle's. And this is a Nestle's book. Chocolate fudge. Cocoa fudge. This has some variations for the chocolate fudge recipe. Okay, here's my favorite. Chocolate covered strawberries. I love chocolate covered strawberries. There's a recipe for chocolate chip mousse. That's vintage. When my husband and I went on our first cruise, we went on two in our 39 year marriage. Um, they had a midnight chocolate buffet and it really was at midnight and it was fabulous. There were chocolate sculptures, a chocolate fountain, um, just fabulous and all kinds of chocolate desserts. So I took a sampling of many different things and I took like a little bite out of each one, but this was what I wanted. I, I ate the chocolate covered strawberries. I love this image from the Hershey's cookbook. All those Hershey products. From the, that's what they look like in the 70s. I don't even know, I don't even see Hershey's chocolate chips anymore, or the baking chocolate. But the fudge topping, if they have that now, it's in a glass jar. The Hershey's cocoa still comes in a canister, but it's not metal. It's cardboard with a plastic lid. And the Hershey syrup comes in a plastic bottle. Chocolate Town Classics recipe booklet. It's got the entire booklet in there. Chocolate buttercream. Oh, that's just paper glued onto that. Another appointment book page. This says 1949, so this is really old. A little image I glued on there. Recipe card. Another image from one of the books of a cup of cocoa in a beautiful little cup. Subtle souffles, mousses, and torts. Chocolate layer cake. Chocolate pecan sherbet. Love these laces. This has some recipes in it. Chocolate sand tarts, chocolate banana cream pie, picnic chocolate cake, creamy chocolate frosting, and rich chocolate frosting. Look at this image. That must be for a bridge party. Double chocolate fudge squares, or brownies. Here we have quick frosting, chocolate satin frosting, marshmallow fudge. Oh, that the other one got the picture of that. Chocolate nuggets and chocolate chips loaf cake. 
chilled chocolate rum souffle. Chocolate Bavarian pot du creme au chocolat. Recipe card. You got lots of chocolate recipes in here. And of course you can add your own. Here's an angel Co cake cocoa surprise that I made into a pocket. This might be where that recipe or that image comes of the angel cake with the cocoa in the middle. And another of the booklets in the back. This one has a recipe handwritten for chocolate chip cookies. It's not extremely old. It's written in pencil. And fudge cake. There we go. This one is called Nestle's Perfect Endings. And that's a good name title for a journal, I think. Hershey's 1934 Cookbook and Nestle's Perfect Endings Journals. I should probably tell you the measurements. Six by eight and three quarters on the Hershey's and five and three quarters by eight on the Nestle's. These will be in my shop. I think this video will go up on Sunday. So these will be in my shop. I'm going to list them on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, today, I don't know the date. I'll, have, I'll put that in the description because today's Thursday. I can't think that far ahead. So, Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in my shop. And probably by the time these get listed, I'll have these ready, the two smash books, because I've got several days before that happens. So, I've got the chocolate smash book and the chocolate cookbook smash book that I'll be working on. I worked on cutting papers for this one already. That's as far as I've gotten. Got the papers pulled and some of them are cut. But I don't put as much detail in a smash book as I do in a journal. So these won't take as long. So thank you so much for watching. Um, these made me hungry for chocolate, but I can't lie, I'm usually hungry for chocolate. <laughs> so maybe on my baking day, in a couple of days, I'll make a chocolate layer cake. That sounds good to me. I'll see you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.